Hey guys, welcome back to Wind Chaser. Just getting the soybeans done right now. There you go, got the last of the soybeans out of the combine. Let's go get the truck now. I'm bombed, I had a whole video recorded. I uploaded to, to YouTube. <sighs> but it got stuck at processing 95%, so I'm gonna record another one, I suppose. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, I'm going the right way. But it is what it is, you know. I'm going to try to make this one 20 minutes long instead of 40 minutes long. Because i got a slower internet connection out here, roller internet. Rural internet, there you go. Driving the T600 right now. It's an awesome truck. Every once in a while you can hear the plane go over. Right now we're gonna go unload 9560. I think that's what this thing is. Got the bounce and shock absorbers from the terrain control mod. Just so there you go. There you go. Yeah, ninety five sixty RT. Getting the last of the soybeans done here. Check and make sure it's still recording. I've been having some problems. Um, the game keeps crashing every time I click record. Getting the soybeans done here. Yep. This is the regular New Holland Combine from the game, if you could have noticed. Um, it's actually has multi-fruit on it. And also no tracks. Right there. I think it looks good. And also have the Chop Straw mod on. It's a great help. I'm gonna need to buy a plow and a tractor. What kind of uh, 510 horsepower, 320? 
Um, to get, yeah, there you go. Wait, no, I wanted this one. Come on. Saw that when I accidentally bought, and we also are gonna need a plow. I think in this one, this is the biggest plow I got. Come on. I should be able to buy it now. There we go. This is the one Lynn veg you've been made. It's got the camo on it. I like this one. Or Lynn JB. So craft parm. Craft Farms pronounces it. It's got the cabin suspension. You can see it bouncing along. Alright, let's head to the field. Not the best driver in the world. <laughs> All right. I take this to the field. Um, field. Well, I got a turn up here. Down by the Hanson Mill in Conagra. Those two tan fields right there. I'm gonna plow them under. This map's meant to come with soil mod. I'm gonna have to put that on. I have a Westbridge Hills I made that has soil mod and chop straw mod on it. Might have to put that on here. The green on this implement just does not look right. Might have raw textures. I've seen some texturing areas right here. It's flickering a bit. Yeah. Take up the whole road. I think this is the one where we gotta take right here. Hear the plane going over. Man, I love this map. I mean, all the fields are like arranged in real life. I mean, on the regular Giants uh, maps that come with the game, the fields are sort of squarish rectangleish, but in real life they wouldn't be like that.
If you just heard that, that was a uh, fire alarm and needs more batteries. I think I'm supposed to turn right here. Here comes the train, the lag fest. I can look at that. Don't look at the train. It's the only thing on this map that really causes lag is the train. This is a beast of a tractor. Oh, there it goes again. We're gonna go right through it. And there we go and the lag dissipates. I just gotta stack those bills on the trailer right there. The 8000 8, series tractor. I'm also gonna work on getting um, course play on this all right we're getting the headland on now here we go yeah course play would be a big help just record a course once just record a course once and it would do all the rest of the times for me. I decided I wasn't gonna bail this field. Had enough bills. It was already lagging my game a bunch. I think we're just gonna get the headland on. going pretty good. See if I had soil mod installed all these weeds that are right here it'd be plowed under too but sadly I don't have it installed. Well people are thinking it was hard, hard to install. I'm like well all you gotta do is like click and drag and drop some files from a folder and, and then that's about it. It's not too terribly hard. Another thing I like about this map, see look it it has circular terrain. So it actually looks like real life, you know. See I'll turn right here. There you go. Looks like I actually turned right there. I'm gonna get the headland done and start going crossways on the field and I think that'll be the end of the video guys. 
got to try to keep it under 20 minutes because I would do more than that we have a slow internet connection and it just won't load it to YouTube I know Linveg or LinJB released a version of this, but he s he uh, scripted it so it was a cultivator, not a plow. This is the one someone else made and scripted it as a plow. Actually, looks like I'm ripping it up though. might overlap what I did here setting up the GPS but gotta have straight rows you know here you go automatic that turn that off click that and here you go Ripping it up. It's a beast. Now we're going back. Just loving. Look, I mean, I mean, some people they have like okay plow textures, but these textures right here, these textures are like, man, there's some good textures. that concludes our video alright guys I hope you're enjoying this series on wind chaser um, leave down in the comments if I have the mic set up just right I don't know yet um, and leave a like if you want me to continue alright guys see you in the next video